Yeah, put a bring a bring over here. <laughs> what have we got? Goodness sakes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> look, I'm gonna. Is that gonna so, thank you. Started over here. That welcome to Magic Island. My name is Scott Wells. I'll be your magical entertainer here this evening in uh, the Gallery of Ramses. This is where you'll see close-up magic, sleight of hand magic, the kind of magic you can kind of touch reach out and feel. In fact, I'm going to let you try something and you're going to get a feel uh, the magic working here then too. Let me ask you a question. First of all, do you have any idea what these are? I can't see them. Can you see? Oh, yeah. Washers, exactly. Washers, yeah. Do you know what's inside of a washer? A hole. A hole. Uh, no, laundry. <laughs> exactly. There we go. Exactly. A dryer's next to it. You, you ladies are getting the general idea though. It's <laughs> so we do happen to have a laundry. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm going to have you just open your hand. I want you to hang on to the one washer, if you would, please. Just open your hand. I'm going to have you just hold on to that. Make a tight fist. Don't let it go any place. Put your hand right there so that way that it doesn't go anywhere. Now, I was just kind of messing with you a little bit because actually there is a hole in that, and that's what gives it value. In other words, it's a washer because there's nothing in it right now. In fact, if you stop and think about it, if you were to take that hole completely off of the, the washer, you then just have a slug nickel, which is worth absolutely nothing. In other words, here's what the interesting thing is. You have now something that is worth nothing, and you have nothing that's worth something. Is that a strange paradox or what? I mean, it's kind of like a donut hole, I guess. You know, they, they give them away as if they're worth nothing, but they're worth something to me. But the deal is, of course, now, again, we have something with something, and we got nothing that's worth something, but the universe is out of balance. We have to put everything back together. So I want you to take that, if you would please, just in your hand. Ah, there we go. Open your hand, yes. It's this way we have, ah, we have it all oh, back together. Oh, it's this wow, way that the holes wow. completely can, you see, over there? <laughs> there we go, yes. Well, now at least I feel like the universe is kind of back in balance the way that it should be then over there, then perfect. Uh, one thing that I do want to tell how many of you have been to Las Vegas, by the way? Yes? How many of you like to go back and get your money? Yeah. And so, <laughs> that's what I thought. It's kind of the same way with me. I was there a while back, and I wasn't there for long, and I thought, well, I just want to play real quickly and be done with it. It's kind of like putting everything down on red or something. So I thought, well, I'll just go to the crap table and play the $100 crap table. I said, just give me one, two, three, four hundred, there's five hundred dollars worth of uh, chips. Just, you know, that's all I want you to do. Just give me $500 worth of chips. He, the, yeah, the pit boss kind of chuckled that way also. Ma'am, reach out and take one if you would please and inspect that and tell me, does that look kind of like a, uh, that's fine, does that look like a one or a hundred to you or what is that? A one. Well, that's kind of what the pit boss had said to me too. He said, they, sorry sir, you know, this is the hundred dollar minimum and you're going to need to put down some more money than that. And I said, perhaps you're not looking at this closely enough or carefully enough. Maybe the light's not right, you see, but it should look exactly like a hundred. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Sure, if you got some hundreds, I'd be glad to. Uh, <laughs> you see, I said there's 100, there's 200, there's 300, there's 400, there's 500. So that way you see that I, I thought, well, if I just kind of keep it. No, I'll take one out. Does that look like a 100 to you then as well? Does that kind of look like a, uh, a real 100? <laughs> well, at that point, that's whenever I thought, you know, the pit boss was not going to let me play anyhow. So I thought, well, that's okay. At least I didn't lose any money. So I feel like I'm kind of a winner when I went to Las Vegas that time. Now let's try something that's just a little bit unusual and different. In fact, everything around the Magic Island is a little bit magical. You have to watch for things that are on the walls. There are museum pieces here. There are interesting works of art. In fact, right down to the very magic napkins that we use are they magical. In fact, I'm going to have you, ma'am, I want you to reach over here. I want you to just take one of these napkins, any one at all, but don't let me influence your decision. Just take one. Just. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> You're going to be difficult, I can tell. Okay, then fine. We'll let you do it your way. <laughs> Not to worry. I'm going to have you do this. I want you to unfold that napkin and find out if it's a magic napkin. If it is, it has a plus or an X down the middle of it. Go ahead and open it up so that way we can see what we got. Ah, hold it up so that way they can see over there then too. You see it has that plus right down the middle of the, uh, the napkin over there? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, look. <laughs> I want you just to tear that right down the pre-folded edges, if you would, making four quasi-equal pieces. Not to be confused with quasi-moto pieces. Just, yeah, just kind of right down the folds. Don't worry. Neatness doesn't count, but speed does. So we just kind of... Uh, <laughs> Never ask a German to cheat. <laughs> okay. I'll take these two pieces, and I'm just going to have you two guys take those. I want you to wad them up into a ball, separately or individually, whichever you want. And then, if you would as well, then you take those and just wad it up into just a, just wad it up into a little ball. Place them back over here on my table once that you're finished. 
That'll be good. That's perfect. Excellent. Thank you. And ma'am, I'll take this back. Good job. Thank you very much. Now, it's an interesting study of human nature, how it is that whenever I give the instructions to everybody, but they interpret them differently. For an example, some people you see are perfectionists. Some people don't seem to give a damn. <laughs> so, I think you know who you are. <laughs> But I shall continue anyhow undaunted. <laughs> watch closely. Watch. 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 Hup. Two. One more time. Three. And again, four. One, two, and three, and four. I'm going to take one goes in my pocket slowly and visibly and comes right back out and joins the other three pieces Aww. just like this. Look, we'll try this again. If I just take these three pieces, I'm going to wad them up into a ball. In fact, I want you to put your finger on that ball of three right there. Don't let them go any place. I'm going to take this remaining piece and it goes into my pocket slowly and visibly and comes right back out indivisibly and with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> And join the other three pieces. Go ahead and lift, yeah, unfold that piece right there. So that way that, uh, that you, yeah, it is back together in one piece. <laughs> there we go. So you, you did select the magic napkin after all. I appreciate that. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, this is the kind of thing that management loves to see me do because it's recyclable, reusable, the kind of thing that you can kind of... You know, use over and over again. Look, I'll tell you what we're going to do is that this is going to go then uh, for you. You can help me then for just a second. Uh, better still for you. I'm going to have you help me. Your name is, what's your name? Carol. Carol. My name used to be Carol. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, then I had it changed whenever I had this operation. I'm going to, uh, <laughs> Carol, I'm going to tell you a little poem, and it goes exactly like this. Starlight, star bright, first star I will see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might make a wish this very night. Have you heard that before? Yes, how old were you when you first heard that? It may be uh, approximately. Many, many. You were, how many, do you think? Oh, approximately. Maybe four? Four? About four years? Okay. I want you to hold on to that little piece right there. In fact, I want you to tear that off. Hold on to that for just a second, because I remember the first time that I heard that, my father said, Carol, come out here. And so we went outside. <laughs> I was about four at the time. And so went outside, and we looked for the first star in the evening sky. And you know what? There was a full moon out that night. <laughs> Actually, there was a uh, man in the moon out that night. <laughs> I know, a silly joke. <laughs> I write my own stuff. But what happened is I wish that I could become a magician. I looked at that star and I wished I could become a magician. You know, my wish came true. But as I got older, I wish I would have had that wishing star because then I could have had anything I would have wanted for the rest of my life. Go ahead and unfold that little piece you've got right there then, Carol. Open it up all the way. See what you've got. Oh. <laughs> oh, so you do. There we go. <laughs> So, Carol, here's what you do, is I'm going to have you then fold up that star, put it back underneath your pillow, and make a wish. I'll be there about 2 a.m. And so, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. No, that's my wish. No, well, <laughs> this is, I've already done the hard part. I've already made the beer disappear. So, <clears throat> the next part of this will be uh, your job, in which I want you to take the, uh, the bottle cap and stick it inside of the bottle. Now, the easy way that most people you see would do it is exactly the way that you've done that right over there, which he's placed it right in the top of that like this. Would you just give that a, a bottom, just a, a, a tap, make sure that's nice and solid? See, it's inside there, all the way inside? Yes, sir. Yes? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to dump that back out just like this, and we're going to do it, make it go through the bottom, not through the top, but through the bottom of the bottle. Watch closely, because it only happens once, and it happens quickly. One, two, three, just like that. There we go. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I tell you what, I've enjoyed, <laughs> I've enjoyed having you. I hope you've enjoyed being had.